Hello everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. It's been a while since I recorded this one, but you won't know that because you will all see it uh, sequentially on Saturdays, so that's fine. Um, but it's been a little bit since I've recorded. Uh, I've been kind of putting off the ending. Uh, I, <laughs> I assume the ending. Uh, so we're headed into the final side story for Doki Doki Literature Club Plus equals episode number whatever it might be, pretty high number. Um, so I just want to say thank you everybody so much who's watched so far. If you find yourself enjoying the video, leave a like. If you haven't already, subscribe. Um, comment down below, love to talk to y'all. See what's up, how's it going. And uh, yeah, with all that being said, let's see what may very well be the final episode of Doki Doki Literature Club. Plus, because we're already way past Doki Doki Literature Club. <laughs> Okay, everyone. Is that loud enough? Let me turn that up a bit. Okay, everyone. We're going to be taking a break from the usual activities today. I was thinking since people are starting to talk about the festival, it's a good time for us to go over the general direction of the club and all that. I think it'll help us figure out what to do for the festival, you know? Oh, Sarah and I already came up with a really good plan. Really, for the festival. So it's like, if it weren't for me, the world would have been okay. <laughs> And that feels bad. <laughs> yeah, so the plan is this, okay? You and Yuri collect information ahead of time on which club the class are doing food booze. Then we take a map and play the most efficient route, so we can get to most of them before the lines get too long. Hey, that has nothing to do with the club. Well, you have to let me finish. Alright, fine, go ahead. Right, so basically we get all the food we can, then we come back here and we all eat together. That's all. Wow, I got tricked twice by the same joke. Boo, don't be a hater. It's not like you come up with anything better. Look, even Yuri was thinking about it. No, no, I wasn't. I would really prefer to do something literature related. We can eat together anytime. The festival is a unique opportunity. Besides, it's been quite a while since we've seen any new interest in the club. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. We've really got a shot at showing people what the literature club is about. I'll tell you what, we can do both, right? We'll make time for your food mission and still put together a public event. Oh my gosh, yes! I was just joking, but that's a really good idea. <laughs> Well, I'm glad that's settled. I think the question is how to come up with an event that demonstrates everything you can get out of the literature club. Well, that's kind of tough because everyone gets something different out of the club. Okay, how about this? Let's go around and have each of us talk about what we've gotten out of the club so far. That could really help us figure out what kind of reputation we want to build. Yeah! That's too embarrassing. Aw, but you'd have so much to talk about. That's exactly why. Now, I'm sure Natsuki feels the same way. Well... Maybe I didn't plan on arguing against it or I, Oh no, sorry, maybe, but I didn't plan on arguing against it or anything. I mean, it's the literature club. We talk about this stuff together, right? The only way to get more comfortable with it is to suck it up and do it. Just do it! Oh, you're not wrong. I'm sorry for being resistant. I'm not... It's not good to say suck it up because it sounds like their feelings don't matter. Right, my bad. It's just a habit I need to break. Well, anyway, who's going to start? I'll start. I was the first to join, after all. <laughs> Wouldn't that be me? No, I want to go first. Fine, fine, you can start. I don't mind. Yay! So. Gosh, feels like so long ago. I think I joined because I wanted to have fun sharing poems with people. It seemed like it would be a safe way to express myself, you know? Oh, whoops, you know. Like, if it's just a poem, then I can share it without feeling like I'm burdening everyone with my problems. I thought it would be a really good way to get to know other people, too. So yeah, I was really surprised when I walked in and it was just Monica. And she was sleeping! <laughs> Don't remind me of that, oh gosh. Yeah, but it seemed like so much fun to help start a new club. Especially since writing helped me so much, I wanted to see it help other people too. But it ended up being me who was inspired. Because I remember feeling like Monica was just so sweet and mature and that I could trust her with anything. It made me feel a lot less alone. Having someone who knew even the bad things about me. And at that point, I knew the literature club was going to be special for a lot of people. Yeah, I felt the same way. It really helped give the club a more cohesive vision. Yeah, I think Yuri joined, excuse me, but she was so different from us and Natsuki too. I think for Yuri, it really helped for me to take the lead before she was able to open up a little. But Natsuki was kind of the opposite, where she wasn't ready to get really close to someone really quickly. I never really thought about that sort of thing. I, I really feel like I've gotten better at understanding people's different needs. And that makes me really happy, because my friends are just the most important thing to me. And whatever new members we get, I want to help them in those ways too. 
I don't know if I would have continued coming to the club if it weren't for you. Really? Hmm. I know it wasn't too long ago, but it hurts to think about my behavior back then. I was really short-sighted. The only reason I came was to find others who were into fantasy. I suppose that was my idea of making friends with people. I remember feeling uncomfortable because you and I have such different energy. I had such a specific idea of the kind of person I wanted to be friends with. So when Sari tried so hard to get to know me, I felt like I was just wasting her time. I think I was naive to assume that similar interests were the key component of friendship. Sari and I were able to be friends because she always thinks about the needs of other people. That's something I never knew how to do or even thought to do. But I stayed in the club thanks to that, and I started trying as hard as I could to understand people better. You really went above and beyond when it came to that. I was just super impressed. Well, I always hated that I didn't know how to behave like a person who is easily liked by others, like two of you can. And because of that, I spent so much time thinking about my own behavior and all the wrong things I said. But the whole time, I should have been thinking about other people instead, not myself. Once I started doing that, I was able to make friends with everyone else. Oh, also, I discovered that sometimes I'm a better communicator when I take the time to write rather than speak. It's so strange the way things turned out, and it's so far different than anything I ever would have expected. But I'm happy. I suppose we don't always know what we really need. Oh my gosh, you're so cute when I... You're so cute that I'm going to throw up. Okay, please don't do that, say Ari. Besides, I'm not cute. Hey, isn't that my line? Oh, well, for me it's actually true, so... Well, what are you saying? Nothing. I finished my part, so somebody else take their turn. My heart. <laughs> she already takes some deep breaths. Okay, fine, I'll go. Here, I can't believe you're complaining about doing this and still went before me. What a show-off. I was just following up on Sayori. It was the easiest way to get it over with. Besides, that's not the most important thing that you get out of this club. I did? Yeah, a regular supply of your favorite cupcakes. Oh no, I forgot that too. I'm a traitor to the cupcake queen. Neither of you are forgiven. Reminds me of k -On. Looks like only Monica will be getting cupcakes next time. No! I can't eat that many cupcakes. Yeah, true. Only Yuri can. Hey! <laughs> well, anyway, I'm just putting off talking. It's kind of hard to talk about this stuff. But I guess what it, what it comes down to is that I'm in a much better place mentally than I was when I first joined. That's because everyone helped me realize that I had some really toxic friendships going on outside the club. It was honestly a really painful thing to go through, having to cut them out. It still hurts to think about. I'm sorry, Natsuki. It's fine. I knew it was for the best and I was right. Guess for me it's all about feelings. I was only ever ridiculed for having feelings, so I thought the right thing to do was just ignore them. It took me a really long time to realize that it's not really how things are supposed to work. And I guess that's thanks to everyone who took the time to respect my feelings, excuse me, to respect my feelings, even when I was being like, the biggest jerk. I'm really sorry for being such a jerk to everyone. I was really the worst. Now she's voice chokes like, I was really the worst. We love you, Natsuki. I just hate that I was like that. Everyone did so much for me and I could never do anything in return. That's not true, Natsuki. You've done a lot more than you think. This club wouldn't have been the same without you. I mean that. Remember how, yeah, we would only had uh, three side stories. <laughs> Remember how judgmental I was when you first showed up or four or whatever. It was like... I couldn't accept anything other than my own idea of what Literature Club was supposed to be. Apparently that was more important to me than the opportunity to bring you some happiness. You really taught me that anything that makes someone happy is worth, worthy of respect. You even inspired me to start playing piano. That's something that means a whole lot to me. So there's no need to put yourself down. Okay. Natsuki wipes her eyes. You helped me a lot too. It's so much fun to have you around, and you helped me become a better person. Having a problem doesn't make you needy or inconvenient. It means that there's something that needs to be better for you, and you always deserve that. I agree. Seeing us have some of the same struggles made me a better person as well. I wouldn't want to change anything about our time here. I don't think any of us would. I'm sorry I got all dramatic again. That's all I wanted to say, so Monica can go now. There's no need to apologize. It was something I wanted to talk about anyway, because it made a big difference for me. I was always such a strict perfectionist who never took enough time to believe in the best of other people. But everyone kept proving me wrong. I made the mistake multiple times thinking that my way was the best for everyone. Or thinking that I was needed to solve other people's problems. But I think being a leader means that you have to acknowledge that you're not perfect, and that the best thing you can do is to help guide people rather than to do everything for them. We're all good people. We're all equals. I think that's the most important thing I've gotten out of the club. Realizing what that really means. 
Is my music really quiet? I feel like you guys haven't been able to hear anything recently. Siri, what are you doing? I just thought we should be writing some of these things down. Things about the club that are valuable to us. The piece of chalk... <laughs> piece. With a piece of chalk in her hand. Siri writes the word trust on the chalkboard. This is because you showed me that I can trust you with everything about me, not just my good side. Let me guess, we're going to go through the side story. Siri takes peace as well. She writes, understanding. I, I owe a lot of gratitude to everyone who took the time to understand me, even though it was so difficult for me to express myself. Hmm, in that case, Lana takes pieces of chalk in as well and writes the word respect. I always thought I was a respectful person, but it took the club for me to realize that there was more to it than I thought, and I'm a better person because of it. I have another one, Siri writes, balance. <laughs> Sometimes people want different things out of a friendship where they need time before they're ready to become close. So it's important to keep things balanced between you and the other person. That reminds me, Siri writes reflection. <laughs> I've always been a reflective person, but most of it has been nothing more than hating myself for all the things I thought I did wrong. Once I started reflecting on other people and not just myself, a lot of things changed for me. So I think that's the most important one for me. That's great. We have a whole list of things now. Suddenly everyone turns to look and ask me, well, everyone not took all the chalk. Don't look at me like that, jeez. Could have just asked. Monica answered a piece of chalk. I see size and writes self-love. I don't know how far I've gone with it yet, but it feels like things are at least on the right track. So here. So there, that's my contribution. Together everyone stares at the words on the board. Wasn't this club supposed to be about literature? It is. We still do a lot of literature. Friendship and literature. Yeah. You're right. So sweet. You're going to get a cavity. Friendship and literature. That's he you gently not as well. Hey, let's all take a picture together. We don't have one yet, right? Hey, you're right. Make sure you send it to me after. Wait, can I brush my hair first or something? Oh, you're fine. You already have the best hair out of all of us. Hmm. Everyone get together. I can't fit you all in. Okay. Everyone ready? And click! Oh, is that the CG for this one? Is the picture? Oh, if it is, we don't get to see it. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I'm really glad we talked about this stuff. It's easy to forget how far we've come with only four members. Yeah! I have so many happy thoughts right now. I'm getting really, I'm getting some really good inspiration for a poem. You know, I feel the same way. I kind of want to get some writing done. Me too! I think I would like that as well. Everyone's looking at me again. Yep. I'll do it too, but I might not feel like sharing it. That's okay. Yeah, if it weren't for Gaston, everything would be fine in the world. That's that's the message. The four members of the Lurch Club disperse to their desk, each equipping themselves with a pen. Natsuki and Yuri give each other a quick glance, then start writing immediately. Sorry stretches, then does the same. Monica's left time pretty gets the paper. Unsure of where to start. Just move your hand. Monica mouths to herself. Write your way into his heart. Write the way into your heart. Every day I imagine a future where I can be with you. Her mind full of thoughts, memories, and inspiration, Monica navigates past her mental barriers and begins to write. Doesn't matter what, just that it's something new. Do -do. Ah, oh, the poem writing game. I haven't heard that in the side stories yet. Doki Doki Literature Club Plus. Written and directed by Dan Salvato. <laughs> Good job, Dan, as always. You are a phenomenal man. Great job. The writing. Team Salvato Development. Satchley, Squatchin, uh, Lusinski, Velinquent. Excellent job to everyone involved. Joseph Boyd, Robert Simmons, Dan Salvato, Nikki Kaler, Jason Hayes, Azaria Sky, everybody involved. Absolutely wonderful job. Team Salvato Production, Alicia Bardacino, Stephen Love, Cynthia Rodriguez, Joseph Boyd, Satchali, Kalea, okay, I'm running out uh, to everybody involved from Team Salvato and from Serenity Forge and everyone else who had a part. Tremendous job um, re-releasing the game and adding so much new content. Uh, the content was great. Um, really sweet. Just really, really sweet at the end of the day. Um, it made made this tired old a-hole with a heart of stone feel something. So, <laughs> Very, very good job. Um, 
I remember when I, I first I first found this game through a Let's Play on YouTube from uh, Markiplier, YouTuber Markiplier, and uh, just it, it fascinated me and gripped my mind so much with all the programming techniques and everything that went to making it the way it was. So that's when I knew I, I wanted to play it. So when I first got a PC, I played the game long before I started a YouTube channel. So I had already beaten it, and it's like, I know all the secrets. So I was originally gonna have one of the other members of the squad play it, and I'd put their playthrough up, but then they announced Plus. And it's like, okay. Oh, thank you, dear player, for enjoying our story of French literature. I really did. It's so sweet. You'll get a cavity. Um, made with love by Team Silvato. Thank you, Team Silvato. But yeah, so um, I, I replayed the main game for the channel, but I was just super excited to get to... Oh, the picture. I was just super excited to get to the um, the side stories because I'd never seen it before. And yeah, it, it paid off great. Uh, however many weeks it's been of Doki Doki Literature Club, we are at the end of the road. Let's Let's play your reality. Let that play out while we, uh... Yeah, yeah, I have to look at that. But let's start at the pictures. So I'm, I'm missing some stuff. <laughs> I'm missing a poem. Everyone say cheese. And now make a funny face. <laughs> Yuri with a mustache of her own hair. That's, that's awesome. So I got all the CGs. And then I hate that for the secret poems, you have to boot up the game multiple times to try and get them. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go through on my own time. You won't see a video and I'm going to 100% this game on my own time just because I can. Uh, let's take a look at this. Has anyone evaluated the side effects that might be caused by sharing a memory pool between multiple VMs rather than allocating them separately? Looking at some of the files VM1 is generating, and I'm finding some information that definitely shouldn't be there. I haven't seen any evidence that this is actually affecting the inside of the VM itself, so I don't think this is a priority, but it's definitely worth noting. I think it's my best guess that memory being free from VM2 isn't getting zeroed out, which technically gives VM1 access to it. All the info I have will go with the issue tracker, but I wanted to check if anyone else already noticed something along those lines. Uh, the sequential backwards is weird. And that's going to do it for me with, uh, that you will see for Doki Doki Literature Club. Plus, if they ever revisit it in the future with a sequel, I will definitely play it. Uh, but I'm going to assume that that is not going to happen. But maybe it's something with that Project Libertina stuff I mentioned earlier. Um, so if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like down below. I really do appreciate it. It really helps us out. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already, get notified when you hear someone by ringing the bell by the subscription button, really helps, and uh, appreciate you very much. Comment down below what you thought of the game, if you have ideas for stuff to do next, or just you want to say hi. As long as you're not a bot spamming links into my chat, which happens occasionally, I will gladly respond and communicate with you, the viewers, um, because that's why I do this. This is for the viewers. Um, and for the sake of making things. Um, yeah. So, thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And uh, this concludes the playthrough of Doki Doki Literature Club Plus. Uh, if you've made it this part of the video, hey, how's it going? Appreciate you watching this far. If you want to see any Doki Doki Literature Club mods, there are many I could play. Let me know. Um, I'd be happy to play them and have you guys watch them. And that wraps up the song, and with it, the playthrough. Goodbye, everybody, and I'll see you next time.